Hello everyone, this is Abu Bakr Tarad and today I have uh, a guest with me, Simon Burton. How are you, Simon? I'm well, thank you. Uh, Simon, first of all, I'd like to talk about uh, Test Series 1-1 at the moment and uh, uh, first test where England posted 823, 823 and then uh, an innings defeat for Pakistan on a flat deck and then Pakistan realized that we need to reuse this pitch and finally we got a result and uh, in that test Pakistan was going without three main players and finally a victory after three years. Yeah, uh, the two games have been really interesting for different reasons I think. First. Uh, obviously a huge amount of runs scored and the interest was mainly in statistics and the compilation of amazing totals and huge numbers uh, and then that seemed to spark uh, an outbreak of chaos in the Pakistan camp uh, and the fun going into the second game was whether that chaos would result in success or more chaos and a lot of that was probably down to the toss, Pakistan won the toss and won the game uh, it seems really strange to me that just the different journeys of the two teams, the different that, that one has a fairly calm uh, kind of long running philosophy and the other threw all the cards up in the air after the first game and watched them fall and the, here we are going to the third game one up. Yeah, and there are uh, there is a lot of talk about the pitch, and uh, we saw a flat pitch in the first uh, test match. But here, first time, they are trying to make a turning track because Ravel Pindi surface has always been flatter, are uh, supporting to the fast bowlers. But this time, they are using some heaters and fans. So, do you think uh, there is some natural behavior of the pitch, so they can get turn out of such pitch where uh, the uh, I mean uh, soil is very hard usually, and it supports batters are faster bowlers. Yeah, it seems like a, an experiment. Uh, I've not been to Rao Pindi before, uh, but it's obviously famous for uh, producing flat tracks and, and good batting conditions. And what they want is something that will break up fast. Um, again, it's part of the interest of this game uh, that they're trying wacky things and people turn up and they've got some new toys that they're playing with out, uh, on the pitch. And we'll see what happens. Clearly, England, their team selection shows that they believe this pitch will break up after a couple of days so uh, again a lot on the toss the Pakistani players like Babar Azam, Shaheen, Afridi they have been off color uh, for a while and finally they are being rested uh, to get some break from the game and then come back with a fresh mind so do you think uh, there might be some technical problem as well or you think it it might be just uh, men uh, mental uh, worries with a, such a player of such caliber it's really hard to understand uh, how if you take Baba uh, as an example, he's, it's been nearly two years that he's been out of form. It's a long period where he's not been contributing. And uh, this is a guy whose class is established. It's not like you don't have to question his ability. Uh, so why is it that he's been unable to perform for such a long time? I don't know, but clearly just doing the same thing and expecting a change wasn't working. And maybe some time away from the game will. Uh, Shaheen's a little different. Um, and the question with him is whether he, uh, whether his, he is a, a test bowler who's going to be able to make an impact over a long career or whether he is better suited to white ball cricket, whether his fitness is not quite there. I, 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 I don't know. Um, the first time I saw him bowl was in Dubai at the World Cup in 21 and he was so beautiful, just the, the swing he got on the ball in the first, in, in that World Cup, a bowler's had two overs at the start of the game to get the ball to, to move, and then it was straight from then on. Well, watching him bowl the first over for Pakistan in that World Cup, I'd like, his, again, his ability is there, but, uh, yeah, I guess where, whether he's going to be a key player in this test team in five years' time, I, I just don't, I'm not sure. Oh, well, uh, I think uh, Harry Brook has been quite uh, in love with Pakistani conditions and Pakistani teams. So, Harry Brook scored th uh, 4 of his 600 against Pakistan in Test Cricket and 300 in 2022 and uh, a triple 100 in first Test in 2024. So, uh, how would you reflect on this, like a player who also played uh, PSL and uh, also he got, I think, uh, limelight first time when uh, he played PSL and scored uh, a ton against Islamabad United. 
Well, he's a great player, and what you don't want to do is give him a flat pitch and not great bowlers or, or tired bowlers or out of form bowlers, uh, because uh, you, you know, as we saw in the first game, he can cause serious damage. Uh, we saw in the last game that there were some technical issues, particularly he likes to play off the back foot against spin, uh, give himself a bit more time, but also that makes him fallible. Uh, so he has to work on that a bit. So what you can't do is just give him the conditions he's most comfortable with, which is what happened in the first game. Oh, well, last question about the uh, this test series and overall England team. Like, uh, do you think in, uh, bas this baseball approach of this team struggles where the conditions are uh, quite turning? Like uh, when they were in India, they lost 4-1. And here when the pitch was, uh, uh, pitch has a lot of support for the spinners. So they also struggled, uh, struggled again. It's an ultra positive approach. And what they, when you put them in, in conditions where the ball is spinning a lot, those are unfamiliar and uncomfortable for a lot of the players. So what we saw in the last game was they went to the sweep all the time, which they saw as a defensive shot, but also one that scores runs. And that does make sense. And their thinking was that if you're going to get out, if, you're, if your innings is only going to last a dozen balls or 20 balls uh, anyway, you can either be defensive and score six or seven or play a lot of sweet shots and may, maybe come out with 25 or 30. That was their thinking. Uh, it's basically, uh, they're basically admitting that they don't have the quality in the conditions against quality spin bowling to play a long innings. So, I mean, it's not a, a great look. We'll see if it's, if they've improved on it for this game. Thank you so much. This was uh, Simon Burton from The Guardian. And uh, thank you, Simon. And hopefully the, it will, it's going to be an interesting test match in Rawalpindi. Allah Hafiz.